Hello, good morning students. So you know your science post mid syllabus is already finished or it is already done. So now I'm going to just discuss about the chapter number 11 light shadow and reflections. So just I'm going to revise the chapter basically the question answers. So students you can see here the diagrams already in a previous video I have explained or discussed about these diagrams so when the source of light is point sized how it will form the shadow about that already been discussed so this is one very important diagram this diagram you have to practice for your coming post mid exam or you can say periodic test 2 next video there you can see the source of light is little bit bigger than previous one but then also the size of the source of light is smaller than the object and here the object size is spherical so how it will form the shadow one darker region and another less dark region that is called umbra and penumbra this concept about that already i have explained so you know very well then also i'm going to revise this part so in this screen or on the screen you can see the deep dark region which has already formed at the center it is called umbra deep dark region and around this deep dark region one less dark or light dark region has also formed that is called penumbra for this spherical shape object next how it will look like if you will say front side of the shadows so about this this diagram also drawn and the last part of this chapter means basically for the diagram that is also how it can form the shadow when the size of the source of light is bigger or you can say much bigger than the size of the object how it will form the umbra and penumbra and how it will look like on the screen its size about this already I have discussed earlier now I am also showing the diagram so all these four diagrams are very very important for your post mid exam next I am going to discuss about few parts of this chapter very important part that you can see uh, <coughs> I have given in the question answer as a note so as this is a chapter based on light you can see light is a type of energy actually light is a type of or form of energy light has two types of nature or characteristics that is called the dual nature of light one is wave nature that's why you can say light is a form of electromagnetic wave or em wave in short another nature is particle nature and the name of the particle of light is called photon that's why the term in biology came photosynthesis because when the um, synthesis means preparation of food will be done by the plants in presence of light means photo then they can prepare the food in presence of light actually plants that's why the term came photosynthesis synthesis means preparation and photo means light so that's why the particle name of the light is called photon and the maximum speed of light is in vacuum where there is no medium that is free space and which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second or 3 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter per second so in second it can travel this much of distance so that you can imagine how much speed of the particle of light is next part is light always travels in a straight path and this property of light is known as rectilinear propagation of light so light always moves in a straight path so many activities are there for this property to prove this property of light whenever in the path of light if any object blocks its path is called shadow means it will form shadows specially so whenever the path of light any object will block it 
its path then it is called shadow or it will form shadow it has two types one is umbra another one is pin umbra and also light can form the images two types of images are there one is called a real image when the image will form on a screen that is called real image and another type of image is virtual image that images cannot form on the screen are called virtual images next topic is reflection what is called reflection of light another property of light it is the process of bouncing back of light that fall on the surface of an object reflection of light give rise to the formation of images next is what is called light already mentioned light is a form of energy it has dual characteristics one is wave nature another one is particle nature it is the combination of electromagnetic wave and photon particles next is lateral inversion very important topic lateral inversion the phenomena due to which the left side of an object appears as right side of the image and right side of the object appears as left side of the image that is the left right side reversal of an object with respect to its mirror image is called lateral inversion that you can see every day at your home when you will see yourself in front of a plain mirror next question is what kind of image is formed on the screen of a pinhole camera the image is formed real inverted and diminished smaller than the object diminished means smaller than the object the image size will be smaller than the object on the screen of a pinhole camera state on what principle is this based on so it will it works on the principle of rectilinear propagation of light next what is a shadow what are the three things essential for the formation of a shadow so that you know already shadow is a dark patch formed when the path of light is obstructed by an opaque object or translucent object and the three things are essential for the formation of the shadow are the source of light opaque or translucent object and screen next how images are different from shadow so the basic differences between shadow and images are shadow always dark but images are not dark they are colorful shadow it gives all the details of the object images it gives actually shadows formed can form shadows formed can never be laterally inverted images formed may be laterally inverted as in case of plane mirrors shadows are formed when there is obstruction in the path of light image is formed when there is reflection of light actually this difference will be a little bit diverse uh, shadows gives not all the details it gives less details basically shadows and images will give all the details about the object but shadows cannot give all the details of the object number 2 point next distinguish between luminous and non luminous objects luminous objects means objects that emit their own light are called luminous objects example like sun star burning candle firefly etc and non luminous objects objects that do not have their own light to emit are called non luminous objects example trees table chair etc next question why are the inner surface of a pinhole camera blackened what are the characteristics of the image in a pinhole camera a black surface can absorb light rays thus if any extra light enters in the camera from outside it gets absorbed this helps to see the image clearly the image is formed number 1 real as it is forming on the screen number 2 inverted as it is upside down with respect to the object and number 3 diminished as the image is smaller in size with respect to the object next question number 7 why are image in a pinhole camera are upside down or inverted 
Images are upside down or inverted because light travels in a straight line. The rays traveling from the top and bottom of an object cross the pinhole and continue to move in a straight line. When they fall on a screen, the rays from the top of the object are below the range from the bottom. Thus, the image is formed inverted or upside down. Next question number 8. Explain the working of a pinhole camera with the help of a diagram. So, <coughs> one diagram already drawn that you know. You will also see here. Suppose a lighted candle AB is placed in front of a pinhole camera. The candle emits light in all directions. Let a ray of light AAI passes through the pinhole and falls on a glass screen at point AAI. Let another ray BBI passes through the pinhole and falls on the screen at BBI. Thus all the rays between point A and point B after passing through the pinhole would meet the screen between AI and PI. Thus AI BI is the image of AB. So here you can see the pinhole camera and its formation of image. How it has formed on the screen one inverted image and laterally inverted. Laterally inverted also with respect to the object it is also inverted. Next question number 9. Draw the diagram of the image of a regular reflection and indicate the following terms. Incident ray, reflected, reflected ray, point of incidence, normal, uh, angle of incidence, angle of reflection, reflecting surface. So this one you have to do by yourself at your home already shown in the previous video how to draw. And Last question, question number 10, write a short note with daily life examples of the following transparent object, translucent object and opaque object. So this one also you can do by yourself. This is very easy task and about this topic already been discussed earlier. So today up to these students. Thank you. Visit again and all the best to all of you for your coming periodic test 2 or you can say post me exam.